What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. So, today is the start of the NBA season, so I'm in between games right now recording this video. Uh, so, just watch the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers play. And then the Golden State Warriors and the Lakers are about to play in just a couple minutes. I was like, let me go ahead and of course record this video for y'all. Y'all know I can't record a video without doing it in the middle of a sporting event, so that's how it goes sometimes. So, Today is basically just going to be an update over all the sneaker information that we did get today because we actually got a bunch of sneaker information. Um, so I will give y'all that update on what all went down today, what all we got word on as well. So jumping into it, so of course today was the release of the Nike SB Dunk Low Skate Like a Girl. So I have the stock numbers for them. So we have men's 4 through men's 15. And I was actually kind of surprised on that. I... I Thought the shoe would be a women's shoe, uh, just because it's skate like a girl, uh, but it wasn't. But they still, of course, you can if you're a lady, you can still get the shoes because they do have the women's uh, translations for the sizes on there. So, like I said, they have men's four through men's fifteen, and the total stock number was twenty eight thousand six hundred sixteen. So I would say a, a normal amount for an SB Dunk Low. The stock isn't normally crazy high for them, uh, but you know there were still pairs out there. Now, of course, I did not. I took an L. Um, you see my submission wasn't selected screen. SB Dunks are hard to hit on sneakers. It's always hit or miss. I think I've hit on them before. Um, but it's it's very tough to hit on the SB Dunks. So if you were able to cop a pair of the SB Dunk Low Skate Like a Girl, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see who I'll cop. If I can get a pair, of course, y'all know I'll do a review. Uh, but it'll just be one of those wait and see if I can actually get my hand on a pair and for a decent price. Now, continuing on with sneakers, because we got three things on sneakers today. So, the SB Dunk Low Skate Like, Girl, Skate like a Girl was the first thing. The second thing we got was a shock drop. And, surprisingly, it was on the Nike Dunk Low Halloweens. And, I know, like, last year we got the last year's Halloween Dunks this year in Easter. So, I, I was like, there's, there's no way we're actually getting a Halloween Dunk on for Halloween. So... It looks like these will actually be to people or get to people in time for Halloween, which we did not have last year, like I mentioned. Now, we did get that shock drop today on these, and this wasn't a normal shock drop. We actually got a scratch off for this shock drop, and we haven't had a scratch off in a while. I couldn't even remember the last time um, that we had a scratch for a sneaker shock drop. Um, if you're not familiar with the scratch, you basically scratch the screen and it allows you to access the shoe and then go in and be able to purchase the shoe. So, um, it started off on sneakers. It was just basically a picture of like a TV screen. And then you just had to scroll down and you would have to scratch. Now, I was having a little trouble with the scratch part because I wasn't sure exactly where to scratch. But once I like closed the app and went back in, it actually let me do the scratch. So, um, like I said, uh, they had like a picture of the sneakers app in green. Um, but I did record a video basically of just how the whole process goes. So I'll go ahead and show y'all just so y'all can see. Uh, but as you see, you just scroll down and you can see the green, like me scratching off the screen and unveiling the shoe which was sitting on top of the TV screen. So once you fully scratch off the whole shoe, and usually you don't have to do the full scratch, but I just wanted to do that for y'all. Um, now it continues on. You see the green sneakers logo and it's got like a little video. And it's just basically B-roll of the shoes and what they look like. Not a bad looking uh, dunk at all. I'd be curious to see it in person. I've heard they look decent in person. I just haven't had the opportunity to see them. Uh, but I have heard that they've been sitting in stores as well. Um, so maybe check your local Foot Locker or JD finish line to see if they have any pairs in stores. But that was the entire video. And then of course at the end you saw that I got the Dunk Low Halloween and it said just missed them. I mean it says you've just missed access to the Dunk Low Halloween. They sold out pretty quickly from what I could see. Like I said, what, like with these scratches, if you're not super quick and, and know where to scratch and everything, they will go very quickly. So these were sold out probably within two or three minutes, which was unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm not tripping too much that I missed that shoe. Um, like I said, if I can find them, I would try to get them and, and just be able to see them in hand. I have a sneaker event next week, so I'm sure there will potentially be pairs there. So I will see if I can grab a pair from there. Um, now, considering on to the last thing that happened on the sneakers app today, we actually got a sneakers reserve over the Air Jordan 4 black canvas, and yeah, there's just been, there's pairs were late shipments of these, and we're just still getting more pairs of them, so we actually got that reserve today, and it was actually a pretty good amount of locations that had pairs 
or that did the sneakers reserve today. We actually did have one in Houston, which we've been spotty with the sneakers reserves. Um, but it was a bunch of locations all over, like I mentioned. Um, I was actually able to get the list beforehand, so I knew that it was going to be in Houston. But yeah, so I did not hit on the sneakers reserve. Uh, once again, another not selected on the sneakers app. So um, unfortunate, but once again, I wasn't really tripping. I had my size in the Black Canvas 4, so it really wasn't a big deal to me that I didn't hit. But if you hit on the Jordan Reserve or the Sneakers Reserve on the Air Jordan 4 Black Canvas, let me know in the comments. Of course, some people weren't able to enter just because of the mileage distance. You have to be, I believe it's within 25 miles of your nearest Nike store in order to enter the Sneakers Reserve on the app. Now, my biggest recommendation, like I think for where I live, I'm right on the edge of the 25 mile zone. So if you're like me and right on the edge or, or like you're just in that distance that you're not sure about, you have like 15 minutes before the reserve happens. So I just recommend getting in your car and just going up like an extra two or three miles to the next location that you can get to. So you're in the zone by the time the reserve happens. So just my tip to y'all, if y'all are able to get sneaker reserves in the area and you have a Nike store in your area, just drive up a little, a couple miles, and then you can be in range to be able to get it from there. Now, continuing on, that is everything with the sneakers app. And we actually, for me today, it was fairly smooth entering for everything. I didn't have any issues entering for the Skate Like a Girls this morning. That was a draw. Um, the Dunkle Halloweens, I didn't have any issues. They just sold out pretty quickly, but that's not an error on the sneakers app. And then the sneakers reserve ran pretty smoothly as well. So... Maybe they're, they're getting better about the app. I'm hoping they are because it's some heat coming in and we can't afford to have a messed up sneakers app when this heat drops. Now, considering on, so uh, two or three more things. So we had the raffle of the Huff uh, Dunks that dropped today and that was on the CopDate app. I don't know if that raffle is still open, but if you have a CopDate account, just go and check. Um, I got an email or actually, no, I saw, I think Soul Links tweeted it and I was able to go in and register for um, the reservation that way and then they did send me the boost email I'm not sure if I'm gonna boost my entry or not I haven't had much luck with cop date so I'll have to decide later tonight um, but as you see I did get the submission received screen and I believe how this huff raffle is going to work is the shoes will be shipped in a bag and you won't know which color you're going to get so I believe there's like a black pair for sure I think there may be a blue pair and maybe one other color I'm not 100% sure on what exactly colors are out there but it looks like you'll be getting a random mystery pair and you're just going to open the bag and that's the pair that you have. So I like the concept with that. That's basically what Sneakers did with the uh, off-white lotto dunk or not off-white, not lotto dunk. So the off-white dunks that they did a little while ago, um, basically you entered and if you got access, you got a random pair. So it makes it a little bit different. Those a, a little mystery into the sneakers game. I, I think it's a cool addition to do. Um, it'd be dope to see more pairs that they do like that. Uh, but that is with the Huff Dunks. And then last but not, well, two more things. I'm going to start with the less crazy thing first. So uh, Soul Retriever put out a tweet today and it said, Returning next month, which will be in November, we have the Nike Dunk Low Syracuse and it has the OG Stew and material. So... I know this is a popular dunk low for a lot of people, myself included. I will be trying for a pair of these. The price on the Syracuse dunks is absolutely ridiculous. You know, I'm, I'm going to go check. I'm going to look right now on StockX. I know that's everyone's favorite app, but I'm going to see what the Syracuse dunks are at. Um, that came out in 2020. Uh, so for my 11 and a half, the last sell was $7.59. Lowest ask is 735 Highest bid is 510 So... It's high. The price is high for them. So it's good we're getting them again for those that weren't able to get them back in 2020. I'll be trying again. Hopefully we get a decent amount of pairs. I know for people that were holding on to the Syracuse Dunks, y'all may want to move those pairs now. <laughs> don't, don't wait till November because the price is going to drop on them depending on how many pairs they end up dropping. Like I said, if you're holding on to them, you may just want to go ahead and cut ties with them and just move them ASAP so you don't get stuck with them once the price drops. So if you're interested in Syracuse Dunks, be on the lookout for those. Now, last but not least, this is the crazy, the crazy one that that I, I was just kind of caught off guard about. And and the funny thing was, I meant to talk about this a couple videos ago, and it just completely slipped my mind. But I was actually scrolling on Twitter today, and I saw uh, the shoe again, and I was like, oh, I need to talk about that in the video because 
Yeah, so the shoe's being released by Mischief, and if you're unfamiliar with Mischief, they do kind of crazy stuff. They did the Gobstopper shoe that they did where you could cut off layers and it would be different colors um, as you wore down the shoe. So, this upcoming Mischief drop is on the 19th, so that is today um, at 1 p.m. So, if you're interested in it, by the time this video drops and you watch it, you'll still have a couple hours before the shoe drops. Uh, but it's called the Mischief AC1, and if you look at it, it is basically like a boot that you would get like if you broke your foot or sprained your ankle, and the doctor literally has to put you in a boot for you to heal up properly. So, that is what it is, and so I was like, that's really interesting. And so I clicked on the remind me just to get a further look at it. And then I saw the price of the, of the boot thing. And I was like, there's no way. So the price on these is $450. And I, like, there's absolutely no way I'm, I'm spending that much on this. There's, yeah, I'm not getting this at all. If you're going to go for this, let me know in the comments. I, I'm I'm very curious to, to know who will be interested in these and who will go for them. Like I said, we know Mischief has done a lot of crazy things with their stuff that they dropped, so this just continues on with it. But yeah, I, I don't I don't know about this one. This one's just not for me. But I I'd actually be curious to see what it looks like in person. But yeah, I'm not gonna be copying it. But that is everything that I have for y'all today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the update. Let me know if y'all purchased anything this morning on sneakers uh, or how you feel about the upcoming drops. As always. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, all notification bells so you can stay up to date when I post new content. On the road to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you have not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. If you have not liked the video already, go ahead and like it. It helps spread the the YouTube videos out and, and feed the algorithm. It helps me grow. So appreciate y'all as always. Hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll catch y'all on the next video.